2020 is an organization that claims right on its website to be a leading progressive think tank, working to redefine the role of the federal government. But it seems more and more like Canada 2020 is just another political arm of the Liberal Party of Canada, kind of like the Trudeau Foundation. It was founded by Trudeau's longtime pal, Tom Pitfield, who's actually married to the president of the Liberal Party, Anna Ganey. Several Liberal MPs and cabinet ministers have spoken at events, and Justin Trudeau himself has been involved in at least three of those events. The organization also has ties to the Center for American Progress that was once under the direction of John Podesta, Hillary Clinton's campaign chair. Trudeau and Clinton have actually attended events for both organizations. And there was a lot of talk of cash for access schemes involving liberals and donors that would attend the same events and rub shoulders at Canada 2020 events. But then they brought in a policy that insists donors acknowledge their money just won't buy time with the liberals in an attempt to distance themselves from the Canadian government all while claiming to want to influence the government. Sounds totally legit. It's just not working when you have to announce you're bringing in a policy to get away from this sort of thing. The latest is that the Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council of Canada, which is a federal government agency, donated 20,000 taxpayer dollars to Canada 2020 and after being made public are now trying to get some space between themselves and the Liberals by reanalyzing internal systems to make sure these types of partnerships are what they call right for them. 75% of the money went to sponsor an innovation conference featuring three Liberal cabinet ministers and the rest went to sponsoring a round table on open government. And they've also worked together on many occasions according to emails obtained by the Canadian press. Science Minister Kirsty Duncan says it's totally A-OK -okay since they donated less than $25,000, which is allowed. Director of Communications for the Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council, Christopher Walters, says that after some tweaking of the program at the conference to include more topic-focused content, plans were finalized to have Ursula Goebel, the associate president at the federal agency, introduce a panel on jobs, skills, and the future of work. Walters also says that this was the visibility and profile that they were looking for, and says that making contacts with key government figures is important to help get that word out. And when an opportunity comes along, you want to take it. When it comes to shaping government policy, because the role of researchers is often overlooked. So wait a minute here. How is this any different than cash for access? And what's worse is that this is a federal agency using your taxpayer dollars to fund it. Canada 2020 isn't where it's at when it comes to rubbing shoulders with the government. I guess that whole policy of not getting access goes out the window with those kinds of claims being made from the government agency. These organizations say that they're independent think tanks, but are pretty chummy with the Liberal government. This all comes off the news. Tom Pitfield's company, Data Sciences, is providing what he's calling digital engagement for the Liberal Party's voter contacts. He says that his party affiliations aren't a factor in acquiring this work from the Liberal. Mm -hmm, sure, we're talking about someone who's married to the party president and vacations with the Prime Minister and his wife. The incestuous ties are simply undeniable. The Liberals know no bounds when it comes to helping their friends use your money. Take your money from federal agencies or be involved in cronyism with apparent independent think tanks. It's just beyond gross at this point and the mainstream media continues to bury it. And when they do that, you know that there's a fire raging out of control somewhere. When I contacted Canada 2020 to ask them how much money they've received from the government since the Liberals won the election in 2015 and to see if there were any more engagements planned with the Liberals or their affiliates, 
They didn't answer me. Shocking, I know. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to sign up to our brand new Rebel Canada YouTube so that you don't miss the other side of the story in Canadian news.